What's up, everybody? It's Grim from GTS Wrestling, and welcome to the best ever Joe Cronin's Monetize This World Heavyweight Champion, the video games collector, the game hunter, Casey is raw. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. This is Casey is Raw again, and today we're gonna do some more stuff on my Tari 7800. But it's mainly about these controllers, like this NES version of Atari controller. Uh, 7800 in Europe had something almost like this, so uh, I've seen this on. The internet was cool. I found this at a local game store. And I, when I played my game brain, playing 2600 games, this was hands down way better than using the 2600 controller, the, the normal one. And even the Hyperkin controller, it's pretty much... A 2600, even though the control stick feels a little bit more smoother, and this one comes with two buttons, so I assume so you can play this on the 7800, but this is more about that NES controller, and this one from Hyperkin, only you have one button you have a joystick, and then you have a uh, paddle control, and right here tells you standard and paddle. I had to learn that the hard way, and look at that, that's weird. You can change the wire come from one direction or the other. It's kind of like the Dreamcast, where they had the little... Um, where you can put the wire because it was going the, the wrong direction. So, let's go ahead. We're going to try to play some 2600 games. I will be using my game brain. 
and then we'll try some 7800. See which controller between the Hyperkin controller and the uh, custom made version from an NES controller to 70, uh, to Atari 2600 controller. So let's give it a try. First, we are going to play Pro Position on the Atari 2600, and right now we're going to use the NES controller. Every time you... Alright. It's not bad. The the up and down is your gear shift. And your A and B buttons, your brakes. Oh, I just barely missed that guy. That was... That's it! That's all you get for pole position. That's wild, so, um, I'm gonna switch you out. Now I'm gonna use the Hyperkin controller. To switch it, it was on paddle. Thumbstick is not bad. Your one button is your brakes, obviously. I would almost say. Hyperkin's winning on this one. The thumbsticks. Oh, even though it crashed right there. Want to use low gear? To, now you switch it to high gear. The thumbstick is not bad. It works pretty good. I'm getting this point to, uh, Oh, I actually went moved on. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Them shift the switch lanes, that's getting a little tricky.
yeah, I give this to, to the Hyperkin controller. We'll try a little bit more. I'm having fun playing pulls which is positioned. Guys changing lanes. Yeah, you press up, it'll switch to low gear. You press down, you switch to high gear. Oh! I guess it, that's it for that one. Like I said, that goes to the Hypercan. Next is Smurfs on the 2600. You have to press up twice to jump over that gate. And over that river. Look at this great gameplay, right? Oh, I can't just jump. Eh, yeah, I figured it out. Almost got smurf at. Alright. I'll be right back. Now I switched to the Hyperkin controller. You know what? If you don't want to have to get a um, custom-made controller like the NES, I think this is a pretty good solution. The Hyperkin controller. Now I remember how to do that. We're not playing this whole thing until I get hurt. That's... Level one. We'll see if there's anything really big difference. That's the same, you have to jump over the... Oh. Oh, what? Should I just... Try 
try it one more time. Got over him this time. Oh, and that died right there. All right, let's move on. All right, we're gonna play some Frogger now with the Hyperkin controller. I have to hit reset. We'll let's go between one and the other. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to see. It's very dark. Oh, that was my mistake. That was not the controller. The choice. It's really hard to see. It's really, really, really dark. Alright, let's move on. Alright, now we're going to use the paddle controller. Huh. Not good. What the heck? Look at this! You just... Okay, there's... I'm thinking you need a second paddle. That's probably why. So, ugh, let's try a breakaway now. This is a breakaway. Paddle works on this one. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of this paddle. You have to be super slow with the... Yeah, I'm not a fan of this paddle. Look at this. It's so freaking fast. I am not a fan of this. Alright. Let's try something different. Let's... Oh, I still got one more game. Alright. I'm going to play one of my favorite games. Games and I know this is probably one of my mom's favorites too is River Raid and it took a little bit to get going. I had to clean the cartridge and I'm playing it with the the NES controller. Ah, I messed up right there. Oh, I messed up right there. Oh, it's, you can blow up your fuel.
if you press up, it goes a little faster. Uh, if, you, if you press down, it will go slower. And both buttons on the NES controller is your fire button. I have not played this in a long time. You're playing, but God forbid you go against the wall of the riverbank. Oh, that is cheap. That is so cheap. Look how skinny that thing was. And this came out the year of my birth, 1982. So, all right, let's move on to the 7800 games. I'm pretty sure you can... There's no point using the Hyperkin controller because it has only one button. While 7800 games, they use two buttons in the joystick. So, like I said, they had a NES-looking controller in Europe, but this NES controller, c custom controller, is pretty good on the 2600 controllers. The hyper con controller on the paddle side is okay at best on certain games, and apparently... If you want to play Pong Sports, you had to have the paddle controllers where you use two controllers. I figure I was going to play against, uh, oh gosh, against the computer, but apparently not. So, uh, it's good joystick. So, the joystick and the buttons. I have no problem with it's just that paddle's not that great. But let's go ahead and move on and play some seven eight hundred games. This is Galaga eighty four. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you one thing. The control's good on it, for sure. I'm not gonna lie about that. The NES version is closer to arcade perfect than 7800. I'm not saying this is a bad version of Galaga. This is almost looks like this could have been on 2600, almost. It probably would have been a little bit more blocky if it was on the 2600. Got him. I'll play only a little bit of these each. They're not bad. The NES controller is not doing too bad. I actually kind of like it a hell lot better than playing it with the tar what Atari comes with. People are like, oh, Atari 7800's just almost as good as the NES, uh, I mean, it's close. Challenging stage. Oh, oh man.
But out of the during that generation, the most superior system is the Sega Master System. Then it's the NES, then it's the Atari 7800. Alright, this is going to do, go ahead and stop with Galaga. Now we're going to do Miss Pac-Man. Looks a hell of a lot better than the 2600. Has an intro. I did really good with, um... Playing Miss Pac-Man on 2600 with this with this controller. So let's start it up. Not bad. I was trying to get them come to got them. It's a lot better version than obviously the twenty six hundred. This is close to arcade. It's not arcade perfect, but it's closer than that Galaga game was. Do I consider this 8-bit? Yeah, I consider this 8-bit. It's a pretty good version of it. I'm not going to lie and say, no! Uh, that was... Now they're coming a little more aggressive. I want to try to utilize as much those power pallets as as I can. The controls are pretty good. Not gonna lie, it's definitely like I said. It's a hell of a lot better than. Oh, I thought he might have got up me. Oh, I thought uh, they got me cornered. Oh my god, how long did I survive? That was pretty good, surviving that long. Oh, they had the act scenes. And this, one thing's with 7800, it could have came out a lot sooner than it did. And honestly, if they did, it would have done hell of a lot better than it than it actually did. Oh, that was my mistake. Oh, he's got... I was pretty sure I was caught. I've got another life. I'm happy about that. Oh, he got me. The only reason I'm playing a little bit more on Pac-Man. It's fun. This Pac-Man's fun. Oh, I got caught. Is this game over? No, I get one more shot. Bam. Oh, I'm pretty sure they were going to catch me. Dang it. I screwed up. Oh, I got... Uh, game over. So let's go ahead and move on. This is cool. Mario Bros. on the 7800. Let's, let's do Expert. 
Oh, this is actually a pretty good looking version of Mario Brothers. Oh, I'm gonna say this is, uh, this might be ice. That's probably why I'm. I'm having a little problem. Earlier, that was... Oh, I got caught. Got that coin. They already thrown the fireballs. This is a good port of Mario Bros. Oh, I got caught again. Get that coin. Oh, come on. getting hard. Messing up. I certainly would think this is the best way to play Kari is using this controller, honestly, is that... Oh! <laughs> is using the NES version of this controller. But, you know what? If you had to choose... If you wanted a cheap option, I would go with the Hyperkin controller. So, let's go ahead and continue. Alright, this is Double Dragon on the 7800. The music, they use the same chips for set, uh, for sound on the 2600. Oh. Guess I had to. It definitely looks a hell of a lot better than the 2600 for sure. Oh, yeah. Still hard to play this. They don't definitely don't make it easy. 
It's a lot easier playing this on the NES. I'm not gonna lie, this is hard as hell, man. Oh, there's a Bobo. Got him. I lost the bat now. On the 7800, this is probably the furthest I ever got. And you can thank this controller for that. Wow, this is extremely, extremely hard game. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next one and last is Choplifter. Made from Protobun. The same people who made... I think it was the U-Force. The A button makes you turn back and forth and your uh, B button is your um, Oh, those are my Oh, no! Let's try to return those guys. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Come on, get in. I <laughs> just came by and blew me up. No more there. I'm gonna have to. Oh, dang. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. I want to try this again. Oh, come on. Do I have to aim, like, down? Oh, come on. I'm on the turn. There we go. I thought I had three. Come on, guys. Oh! He almost came and got me. There we go. Let's go! Flying backwards. Come on guys, get in. Oh, he got me. <laughs> what? Oh, how am I supposed to compete and f kill them? Let me try something. I was seeing if there was other... <laughs> oh, you know what? So it's just smarter just to fly like this, though. It's actually a fun game. It just had. Oh, let's drop that. Let's get those guys to safety. Like I said, it's just smart to do it like this. Oh, he got me.
Come on, guys. Let's go ahead and take those back. You a hole, you kill him. What the hell is that? Invisible one? Okay, well, guys, that is it on the gameplay. Let's show the my opinion and final review. Alright, so lining up those two controllers. To the right is the Hyperkin controller, and to the left is the custom-made NES controller. Um, the custom-made NES controller is pr pretty good, not only for the Atari 2600, it is Really good for the 7800. So, the flaw on this Hyperkin uh, controller is they should have had a second button. So, you could play this more on other games on the 7800. And another flaw is how small this button is right there to go between one and the other. To go between... the game pad and the uh, paddle and the paddle when I was playing on the playing breakout 4 it was extremely too sensitive so uh, it, the hyperkin is a good controller you don't want to pay a lot of money to get this I think I don't remember I know I paid more for this controller than the Hyperkin. So, you could get this controller or you can get the 2600 looking controller from Hyperkin that has two buttons. But, they're both pretty good. I, If anything, I'd probably go with the NES custom controller. But, if you price point, you can go with the Hyperkin. So, like I said, wish there was a second button on that. And the paddle controller would have been better, but uh, that's it. So I figured also to utilize my game brain one more time, my video game brain selector machine. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.